This is a, a bunch of them. I just want to talk about um, page 6, 973. I'm just going to gloss over it. Uh, 974, uh, 979, if you just want to log them in. Uh, 1002, 1003. Uh, for some reason, uh, these are two-year contracts. I, I normally do follow the two-year contracts, and, and I appreciate sometimes when you actually give them out for two years saving money. But, but here we're looking at very odd things, like the first one, 973, 24 consecutive months for Royal Printing Services from February uh, 2016 to January 2018, and that's for $1,148,000. I don't know if that's a typo or not, but that's a lot of money. There was a previous, in this, this February for 2015, you gave out a resolution for the same thing for one year for $110,000. So for two years, you added approximately one million dollars more. Um, somebody's going to have to explain that. I mean, you do, I say about wow numbers. That's a wow number. And and the question on all these twenty-four months that you're doing right now, does that mean that you're actually encumbering the money in this year's budget to be paid for uh, all these items? Because in the beginning of the year, I was talking about you know you were like hiding like thirteen to twenty million dollars. Uh, from the Runnels uh, operating costs. Uh, and now I'm wondering about what's being encumbered and, and kind of squeezed into this year where it really should be next year. I, I can address it in general terms. I don't have the specific dollar amounts. I know that the cost for uh, collection printing with Royal Printing was not $100,000 last year. That number was substantially higher than that. That may have been some kind of a modification to a contract that did not accurately represent the amount of cost. Uh, there is, I know also that there is an increase in cost for this two-year period coming up. One of the reasons being that there is always a substantial increase in the number of ballots that are printed and the turnouts relative to provisional ballots and mail-in ballots because this year is going to be a presidential election and the following year is a gubernatorial election. As a result of those activities, prices go up for many things, including our printing prices relative to the election. Do we know anything for purchasing with regard to any savings with regard to using 24 months as opposed to 12? Through you, Mr. Chair. Uh, on the general ones, that the 10 that he talked about, or just specifically on the road? Yeah. Specific. Okay. Um, as we've discussed before, usually we try to lock in the prices for 24 months because uh, usually prices don't go down, they go up. Uh, but I, I, to, to, excuse me, but I don't recall anything specific that he, that he, uh, that he asked for. Okay. Uh, other than why 24? I think that was it, right? Why 24? I'm curious if there was any particular. I know sometimes I ask you that question, you yeah. have a specific story to tell me how we're saving money, so I realize it works. I, I do, as the, the QPA, encourage whenever we see the resolutions in Minitrack that we try to encourage them to do as long as possible to, to lock in the savings. And I, I believe the other part of the question was, and uh, I believe Ms. Taylor was, was um, shaking right. your head in the affirmative about yeah, just it does not encumber any 2016 money, right? It does not encumber any 2016 money. 2015. 2015. Well, if it's 24 months, it would be in a 2016. Can you explain that? Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Next, anyway. Through you, Mr. Chair, the resolution is actually certifying funds subject to inclusion in the 2016 and 2017 budget. It is not for the 2015 